Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a six-figure fight. Five rounds of action for the PFL Europe Women's Flyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She is an MMA specialist and stands five feet three inches tall. She weighed in officially at 124 and one half pounds and holds an MMA record of two wins and one loss. Representing Italy and fighting out of Dublin Island. Valentina Scat Scatizzi. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She is a Muay Thai specialist and stands five feet eight inches tall. She weighed in officially at 124 and one half pounds and holds a perfect undefeated record of nine victories and no defeats. Eight wins coming by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Manchester, England. Dangerous! Dakota Dichola! <laughs> Referee in charge, Dan Mavetti. Judge. Judge. Dakota in the red, Judge. Valentina in Time the gray, keeper. Sean O'Connell, Brendan Lachnane, and Dan Hardy on the broadcast ready. desk for this Have one. Skatiti in the southpaw stance, coming out aggressive. Nice. And running right into some strikes from Dakota Dicheva. I think this is the only way that Skatiti can win this, make it there. Oh, lovely front kick, go off the kick. Beautiful. This is good pressure, though, from Skatiti. She's nice. got to get around these legs. Oh, knees! This mm. clinched knee is, we saw Dakota Dicheva finish a fight last year with that. Oh. Nasty to the body. Nasty knee. She's absolutely devastating in these tight positions. Good head position here from Dakota. Nice Beautiful. knee to the head as well. Nice tricky knee there from Dakota. Another one's coming, it looks like. Beautiful. There we go. Now Skatiti in on the entrance here, trying to get this. Got the hands locked. See if she can get Dakota's hips off the cage. Put her on her back. I mean, it's a good game plan from Skatiza. It's the way she's got to win. It's not always pretty. The smart thing to do, though, right? Slow yeah. this fight down to yeah. 25 minutes. You've got to, you've got to buy some time and get your lungs back under you. I mean, the last thing she can do is stand at range with the call. We know that. Beautiful. There's that strength you talked about, yes, Brendan. Exactly. Good work by Dakota maintaining balance. Oh. And look at that. Skatizzi ripping to the body, already some swelling under the left eye of the Italian. The colt has got to keep the center of the octagon here. Can't question the gameness of Skatizzi. Oh, beautiful. Look at this tight plumb. Every time Skatizzi gets close, Dakota Dicheva. I mean, there's that tenacity again, straight in, closes the distance. Nice turn from Dakota. She's very effective with the knees here on the fence. Really good, actually, just curves them into the midsection like that. Real Muay Thai, beautiful Real to Muay Thai, watch. yeah. Oh, beautiful. And that'll drain the gas tank as well. And you can see, I mean, the pain on the face of Valentina Skatizzi as she tries to shrink that space, shrink that target that Dakota Ditcher has available to her. Dakota very smart here, using aggression, putting her on the fence, slipping that right knee up the side. It's a beautiful technique from Dakota. And all coming from that head position as well, forcing her opponent to turn into the knee with her head. Mm -hmm. Good little off balance there, Dakota tried to drag Valentina Skatizzi. Oh, nice right hand, drives the that straight was clean. That beautiful from Dakota, beautiful pump. This could be it, guy. But there's that toughness again. It's going to take a lot to get Valentina Skatizzi out of this opportunity. She knows what's at stake, $100,000 yep. and a place in the PFL's global future for whoever wins this fight. Dakota with fantastic head position here. I really like the way she uses the pressure. And the use of the tie clinch as well. You very, very rarely see it in MMA. 
I mean, only the likes of Anderson Silva really mastered that position, but Dakota uses it so well. More pain on the face of Skatizzi, whose body has taken a ton of damage, and now Dakota goes upstairs. I mean, we're so close Look. here. Them knees are devastating. Look at the left eye of Valentina Skatizzi, already severely swollen, not even through round one. Good effort there. Valentina needs to square up and close this distance where these knees are coming through. Got to try and hustle off the fence, Ooh. get in on the legs. There we go. That's a better move from her. If she switches to a single, she might have a better time of trying to finish this, but Dakota's going to have great takedown defense because, of course, this is what she expects from everybody she fights. I mean, Dakota also needs to be careful here to not go too hard too early because, you know, this girl's really tough. It's a five-round fight. You have to be careful here. But great work from Skatizzi here. One minute left. Skatizzi wrestling right in front of her own corner. John Cavanaugh, SPG coach. They're guiding her along. Comes from a great team, they both do. Dakota's done a considerable amount of damage in one round. That's going to be lingering for the next 20 minutes if it goes that distance. I love the way she uses the palm there, because obviously no elbows in the PFL. You have to adjust with things like this. And we know how effective a palm strike can be. Bas Rutten, palm strike to the liver. I mean, you look at the work by Valentina Skatizzi, a lot of effort expended to try and get Dakota down. And look, that eye, Ooh. guys, we might not see yeah. that number two with that eye yeah. looking at the does. I think the doctor's going to step in and, and stop this. I don't think she's going to be able to see Ooh. out of that eye. Another right hand there from Dakota Dicheva, banking an unbelievable first round. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mavahedi calls a halt to the action at five minutes of round number one. Declaring your winner via TKO on medical advice due to the fighter being unable to continue. Declaring your winner and 2023 women's flyweight champion, Dakota Dicheva! Flyweight champion in PFL Europe. Let's talk about that first round damage. The clinch was beautiful, the knees to the midsection and the face. You swelled her eyes shut. Did you know it was over when you headed back to your corner? Yeah, I could see she couldn't see out of it like the last 30 seconds. So I'm surprised they didn't stop it straight away because that's why I was pointing at it. There was no way the doctor was letting her out with that eye. How do you feel about the performance? Dan Hardy and Brendan Lochnane were both saying you have the best knees in all of mixed martial arts right now. Regardless of division, man or woman, they say you've got the best knees. Do you agree? So it's funny because in Thai boxing, I never thought my clinch was any good. And then it came over to MMA and now I seem to be using it all the time. So I'll take that one. <laughs> well, you have the European flyweight strap. PFL has acquired Bellator, global MMA powerhouse, endless possibilities. What's next for Dakota Dicheva? Oh, anything, anything. Give me whoever you want. Get me to fight wherever you want. I'll stay in Europe. I'll go to America. I'll clean them all out. Just give them to me one by one. Well, I saw you come running over after the win. You said, give me the money. That's, that's Pete Murray's job. So here's the big check. Dakota Dicheva, your first ever women's flyweight European champion. $100,000 a belt and an unlimited potential from Dakota Ditcherville. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. Dangerous. <laughs>